Hey guys, I'm Aaron. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to show you an accessory that just came in the mail to help tidy up the front of my Boxster. As you might know, I have a GT3 style front bumper on here. Here's a link to that video. You can go check it out. But as you can see from the front of this car, it looks really good, but this bumper comes with an opening on the front that accepts a tow hook. And without it, there's no way to cover it up without buying some kind of plug. And I just really wanted to finish off the look with this tow hook from Renline. This is the product page from Renline where you can see the tow hook here and it just screws right into the factory mounting hole on there. It's got some uh, cool red graphics on this one. This is the V2 version two of their product and it fits the 964, 993, 996, 997, Boxster Cayman, 944T, 968. And as you can see, Renline sells some accessories of particular note. I think this one is super cool, the Renline GoPro camera mount tow hook. So as you can see, it just bolts right on to the top of this tow hook and allows you to mount your GoPro on the front of your car to get some really cool driving angles. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble this thing, how to mount it, and we'll see how it looks on the car. This might look familiar to you. This is the stock tow hook that comes with the car. And this is the one I just ordered from Renline. So it's packaged with a packing slip. Yep. All right, this is the bolt that secures the loop. The main bolt, I think. Here's our main bolt. So these are some tow hook spacers that come with it because I guess it's a slightly different fit based on the vehicle. And our main tow hook with some really nice machined lettering in there. Here's the little red decal that you can optionally put on, which I will put on mine. And assembly instructions. Cool, I'm looking forward to a project that's actually really simple. Here's just a quick comparison with these threads that come with it compared to the stock one. And the threads are the exact same depth. The very first step is using a 19 millimeter socket and screwing this in. Now this bumper is obviously not the stock one and I have to, to get the stock tow hook in, I have to kind of lift the bumper up some to make these holes align. So for me, I'm just kind of lifting up to get it started. Of course, the important part is to make sure this is not getting cross-threaded. So once you get it started by hand, crank it down till it bottoms out. Now I have to be careful because on this bumper, I'm gonna lose the threads here because it's gonna start going inside my bumper cover. So now you have to decide if you want this engraved part to show or if you want the sticker. If you want the sticker, you have to put it on the back of it, the side with the set screw here. So before I put this on, I clean this surface really well. And I'm gonna apply this decal. Let's peel this off. Wish this was clear so I could see through it better. Kind of having to guess. I hope this is right. There we go, pretty close. So since mine is inset, I'm gonna take this applied spacer, put it on there, and then and then this is gonna come up on the back of it and just put this through and tighten it. This is eight millimeter. All right, this bumper, this sucks. Thank you. 
All right, what well, should be a super easy job because of this bumper. It's now in there and this bumper is actually sitting on top of the tow hook some. I was expecting that this would be able to come all the way up and clear this, but it actually makes contact with that. And it's all the way in there. Now, if you have a brand new bumper and you're worried about this rubbing on your bumper, this actually comes with this little bump stop thing. It's just a little sticky thing that you can apply to the back of the tow hook here so that if it does touch your bumper, it'll be a nice soft piece of rubber instead of metal scraping on it. But there she is, that's the final result. And it really only took a few minutes and it was a lot more complicated on my bumper than it would be on a stock bumper. And I think it looks really good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And again, like I said, if you're interested in buying this or one of the accessories, I'll put some links for you in the description below.